I thought about getting one of those viral pet hair rollers I saw on TikTok. Someone told me that a basic rubber glove works just as well. Magic Eraser vs. Clean Wall Spray Magic Eraser removes some Sharpie and some paint. Now for Clean Walls. It starts working before I do. Removes the Sharpie and leaves the paint. I'm giving away a bottle of Holiday Heart Wall Spray and a bottle of Healthier Home Degreaser. Like and share this video and leave the first comment that comes to mind. Check this out. I diluted the degreaser. Added to my upholstery cleaner. It easily sucked out all the grime. Let's clean this mess and do a laundry. I had no idea you have to do that. But now I know. Gross. Spray, spray, spray. Beautiful. Bye.
Marielena name clean.
this is probably the worst hot tub I've had to work on. There's literally slugs, spiders, the water's black, and the smell is just disgusting. It's not been used for a couple years, and it was turned on the other day so the water was warm. So what I'm going to do is put the pump in and jet it down as it's draining. Hoover out all the bits at the bottom, then fill it back up. Clean out underneath, there's a lot of leaves in there. Get the filters cleaned up. I've got some cartridge cleaner, spray that on. Now it's filled back up, I'll get the hot tub flush. Get everything running, all the jets, pour it in down the skimmers, let it run through for about half an hour. You see all the dirt coming out of the pipes. Drain it down again, hoover out all the little bits. Start filling it back up. And that's job done. Holly, your boy for the pool work. Every lavender scented product I have. And then just some purple products. If you have a mold or a mildew problem in your shower but like safe cleaners, try this. You guys went wild over my review of this carpet cleaner and begged for an update. So of course, after that gross water from round one, I had to go back in for round two. I start by quickly going over the entire carpet, spraying the solution, and then I slowly go back over the entire thing while sucking it up. The long bristles pull up so much of the dog hair that's stuck in my carpet, and I'm still thoroughly impressed with the drying feature. It's never wet when I'm done. And this is the water from round two, so it's safe to say I'll be doing round three. So many people commented on that video and said that they have this machine and love it, but the number one question was how to clean it. A lot of people like yourself weren't sure how to properly clean the water reservoir, 
I put in warm water with vinegar and I just swish it around and let it sit for a bit and it typically does a really good job. If there's any tough mess I can't get, I'll use a bottle brush, which is totally key to cleaning any vacuum part, and I make sure I get in all the holes. After rinsing it all over, I take all the smaller pieces and soak them in some more warm water and vinegar. This includes the Hair out and I make sure to get multiple cracks and crevices. I just put it back on after soaking. 